derivative of the following. We're going to use the quotient rule. So we'll take the denominator of the numerator first, which is going to be cosine of x minus sine of x times the bottom tangent of x minus the derivative of the bottom, which is going to be secant squared x or 1 over cosine squared x times the top all over the bottom squared. So tangent's the same thing as sine of x over cosine of x. So the reason I state that is when we distribute it across, we end up with, this just becomes sine of x minus sine squared of x over cosine of x minus, and then secant's the same thing as one over cosine squared x. So we end up with sine of x over cosine squared of x plus this just becomes one over cosine of x because the cosine, one of the cosines on the top and the bottom cancel out. And then we have our tangent squared on the bottom. Okay, so uh, what we can do here is it looks like we can get a common denominator of cosine squared x potentially. I made a mistake, this should be distributed. So, so we turn this up, it flips over, this cancels this out, and it looks like we're going to be left with sine of x, cosine of x, minus sine squared of x, minus sine of x minus cosine of x all over sine squared of x. And there's other things you could do, but that that's sim simplified enough. So, okay, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching the video and you have yourself a great day.